Hi guys and welcome to another unboxing and first impressions. Today we're unboxing the new model from Spinnaker called Picard. And this is actually the second time I'm featuring Picard on my channel. The first one, and I'll put the link to the unboxing, not the review, because in the unboxing I just couldn't stop laughing at the thing. That was so ridiculous. That first one was limited, it was done in titanium and it had 26 plus millimeters of thickness. That was just an insane watch with 1000 meters of water resistance. Well, now they created a regular production version that's been toned down a bit. The price has also dropped quite significantly because now it has a Seiko NH35 and they slimmed it down to make it more usable. So let's open this and see just how much slimmer it is compared to that limited edition monstrosity okay so this is the outer box done in this new colorway which i actually do like it opens as a sleeve this looks very 70s or 80s i do like this okay let's move this away here on the inside we have the cards and everything. This is done in that like foamy felt material, very nice. And here's the cover and here's the watch. And already you can see that it hasn't been slimmed down by much. Okay, let's take this one out. The pillow is actually very, very nice. Okay, let's move the boxes away and concentrate on the watch. But give me a second to unwrap it and then I'll be back. And here we go. It took me about a year to unwrap it, but we're here. And this is the new Spinnaker Picard, the slimmed down version. So let's take a look at the side profile. And yes, it is still a behemoth, mostly due to this sapphire crystal. The original, like I said, was 26 point something millimeters. They slimmed this one down to 21, which is still a behemoth. The watch itself is 45 millimeters in diameter and 52 lug to lug, making it most likely too big for my wrist. They also reduced the water resistance from 1000 meters to 550. And like I said, they switched to a Seiko NH35, whereas that one was, I believe, a Salida SW200. This was also, this is also reflected on the price because this one is, I believe, $580. But as usual, you always have those coupon codes and there's one called WatchGeek20, where you would get a 20% discount, dropping this to $460 which is a pretty okay price considering how unique this watch looks. Wow, it comes on a bracelet unlike that one and while that one was in titanium, this one is done in stainless steel, meaning that this is one of the heaviest watches I ever held in my hands. I mean, this thing is really a beast. And look at the bracelet. The bracelet is also one of the thickest bracelets I've seen so far. And I mean, it's the right move by Spinnaker considering how thick the watch is. You cannot put a dainty or a slimmed down bracelet. So I'm glad they went with this one. It's like an oyster styled links, but it's very, very thick. And as you can see, massive. The clasp also is machined. Uh, it's kind of getting stuck because I didn't remove all the plastic. And it does come with a diver's extension, which is just a flip out one. I wish they included a, a glide lock one, but what can you do? Very, very nice. This is really, really heavy. I'm having trouble keeping it on in my hands. Okay, the crown is extra, extra large. As you can see, very easy to grip. I don't know if this is gonna dig into my wrist considering the thickness of the watch and the weight. So let's try to wind it. The winding is very smooth. No wonder since the crown is very large. It comes with hacking and hand winding as you would expect from a Seiko NH35. The dial is pretty simple and I actually like that. Although they use pretty legible markers in hands, the legibility itself is pretty compromised because of this bubble sapphire because it causes all of these distortions and reflections 
but what can you do that's if you want to have this kind of a sapphire crystal that's something you're gonna have to live with the bezel insert on this one is ceramic and the bezel I believe comes with 120 clicks and this pretty cool coin edge so let's try it and see how it works oh wow okay this is one of the better bezels I've tried the clicks are very pronounced and very very precise it, it has just the right amount of resistance very good really very well made bezel and look at that chapter ring it kind of reminds me of the Rolex Seed Dweller <laughs> very cool but this is a behemoth okay let's try to put it on my wrist to see how it looks and if I said like 45 by 52 it's gonna be too big for me but it's not all that it's the thickness that's gonna drive people insane okay so here it is on my 6.7 inch wrist and remarkably the watch doesn't overhang my wrist but it is kind of too big for my taste but this is nothing this looks actually okay it's when you start to turn it that you realize just how thick this is now if this came with a flat sapphire crystal the watch itself wouldn't be that bad I mean it would be just like a chunky diver but like this it becomes a weapon I mean if you hit someone with this I believe you could cause some serious injury Wow but overall I do like it it comes in a couple of colorways I believe a green one a blue one and a dark I mean a black one overall I do like the watch I mean it's not my cup of tea and I would probably never wear it as a daily watch but this is something that's gonna get people like it's it's a conversation starter it really is because it's so unique anyways let's try to do a loom shot and that that's gonna be it for today because I will be doing a detailed uh, or full review once I spend some time with the watch because I want to try to capture it under macro although this sapphire crystal is already working as a lens okay let's say that the loom is charged and it seems to be okay let the camera focus and turn off the light to see the loom there we go and the loom is outstanding I have to admit it's very easy to read and to be honest when you look at it at night since there's no reflections on the sapphire this watch is actually more legible in the dark than during the day once you start tilting it you get those distortions but as long as you're looking at, at it at, at a 90 degree angle it's very very legible the loom really is outstanding anyways that's it so like I said this is like a $580 watch but with a coupon code it drops to 460 considering the specs it is all, all again on a bit on the high side but then again a ceramic bezel this bubble sapphire I believe costs a fortune to make and not shatter while they're making it and a pretty unique piece I do like the bracelet and I wish they included this bracelet on some other spinnaker models because this is a behemoth of, of, of a bracelet it really does look and feel very very good anyways that's it when it comes to this unboxing and first impressions like I said stay tuned for the full review and I'll see you in the next one bye